Welcome to another episode of Cracking Packs and Life Hacks, where we are going to crack some packs of magic cards and talk about some life hacks. Today's topic is a summary of salvaging the rest of your year, where I am going to walk you through all four steps here. So, but first, let's pick a pack to crack here. We'll go one through six here, and we are going to open up some Jumpstart. Oh yeah, so one, three, four, five, six. Hopefully that's still even. And we'll go one through six again, and we've got a three. So this past month, we have been talking about salvaging the rest of your year. And it's been a great month because it's June, and um, if you're in the States, you know, COVID restrictions are lifting. Um, even though the Delta variant is doing some damage, we, I think we might be okay, us in the States. Um, as for the rest of the world, man, I am praying and hoping the best for you guys. Hopefully the vaccines will get out to you all soon. Um, and hopefully we can just get past this whole pandemic here. Um, so I know that the, so we got a rare and uncommon. So we got one rare. Um, and so this whole month, um, the month of June, we have been talking about salvaging the rest of your year. And um, I'm recording this video on June 29th, which means that July is almost here. We got two more days before July. And um, the year is almost half done. I don't know if you remember, I don't know if you realize that, but once July starts, the year is halfway done, right? And I wanted to help you guys, including myself, salvage the rest of my year. Um, so we are currently in week five of this series. And to recap, um, in the first four weeks we talked about um, in week one, we talked about the why behind why we set goals, right? In the second week, we talked about reflecting. And in the third week, we talked about goals. And in the fourth week, last week, we talked about our plan to achieve these goals, right? And I'm going to walk you through these four steps with one of my personal goals that I want to accomplish this, this year. And so in week one, we talked um, about why do we set goals, right? And the reason why we set goals is to help us intentionally accomplish something, right? Those two things right there. We set goals to help us intentionally accomplish something, right? That is why we set goals, to be intentional and to accomplish something, right? In week two, um, we reflected back and did the um, KISS exercise, right? The keep improve the start and stop doing exercise, right? And um, I realized as I looked back on my, looked through some, as, as I did some journaling and I did my kiss exercise, I realized that I have been really lazy with my weight and my health, right? Last night I ate at Five Guys and uh, today I had Chinese food for lunch and I took a nap around three o'clock and when I woke up I was still feeling tired and around, five o'clock I was sipping on a Red Bull to, just to kind of help me get through the rest of the day right and you know that's been probably that unhealthy pattern has been going on for a long time and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I am clinically obese I currently weigh 206 pounds right um, and I want to change that I don't want to be obese anymore I want to be healthier um, you know, there's so much that I want to do still and so much I, I want to do with my wife, my children and the communities that I am part of. And so I am going to focus on losing weight for the rest of this year. Um, but before we talk about um, steps three and four, um, let's see what rare we got here. And so I'm excited because I haven't pulled this set um, yet uh, from Jumpstart and it's green. Green is always cool, fun to play with. And our rare is Primordial Sage. Ooh, this is a cool card. So it's four and a green green, 
It's a spirit creature. It's a 4 or 5. And it says whenever you cast the creature spell, you may draw a card. That's pretty awesome. So you take that. Combined with just creatures. Creatures, 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 creatures. Creatures and creatures. More tree folk creatures. And you just build all this amazing synergy. That's weird. I got a little white mark on my crushing canopy there. And yeah, you just draw a bunch of cards and your opponent doesn't. And you get some value with some creatures you've played. So that's really cool. Where's my rare? Here it is. Primordial Sage. Alright. And so let's pick another pack and then we'll talk about steps three and four here. So we'll go one through six again. And we've got Commander Legends. Alright. And so as for the pack, we'll go one through six. Right here. A six. Awesome. And let's see here. So Commander Legends. One of my all-time favorite sets. Here. Okay. Um, so the third step in salvaging the rest of your year is to write a smarter goal, right? And mine is to get healthier by increasing my target heart rate improve my core and overall strength, drop down to 185 pounds, and track what I eat, all by the end of this year, right? Um, and as you can tell, this goal is smarter. Um, it's specific, it's measurable, it's actionable, it's risky, it's time keyed, it's exciting and relevant, right? If you are, um, you know, check out um, this video card that I'll put up here, um, it's about a, uh, a video where I talked about smarter goals, right? And um, so this goal, uh, which is to get healthier by increasing my target heart rate, improve my core and overall strength, drop down to 185 pounds and track what I eat by the end of the year, that goal is an achievement goal. It's not a habit goal, right? Um, even though I am trying to develop a particular habit, I'm more so trying to get to the goal of 185 pounds and to be healthier. Right, so that's my goal. That's in this third step is to write a smarter goal, right? And the fourth step, the fourth step is to make a plan to help accomplish this goal, right? So what I did was I just kind of brainstormed and wrote down a large list of things that I wanted to do that will help me um, achieve my goal, right? And some of the things that I wrote down are um, to buy new workout shoes, um, to buy another pair of gym shorts. Um, I want to consult my doctor uh, and get a physical. Um, I need to refill my asthma medication and um, to buy some healthier snacks, right? And some other things I wrote on my list are that I am going to start tracking how often I eat out and what and when I eat processed sugars because those two things are my weaknesses, right? Like I love drinking a Diet Coke. I love just you know, grabbing a candy bar at the grocery store as I'm checking out to eat in the car, you know, those are my weaknesses, right? And uh, some other things I wrote in my plan was that I'm going to figure out what my target heart rate is right now and where it should be, right? Um, and then I'll probably do cardio once or twice a week. Um, and I'm gonna try, uh, track my progress um, by measuring my target heart rate. Um, another thing I wanted to do was um, develop a functional weightlifting program. Um, because if you lift weights, the more muscle you have, the faster it is to burn fat, you know? And I just wanna increase my overall core strength. So I'm gonna do some research and, and develop a functional weightlifting program um, and try to do that at least once to twice a week. Um, you know, I'll probably just use kettlebells and just do, use some functional movements um, because that's kind of what I'm training for. I'm just training my body to do normal everyday functional movements you know i'm not trying to train my body for like explosion type of uh, movements you know i'm not playing football here or i'm not sprinting or anything right and so um i believe if i can accomplish just 
you know, two to four to five of those things off that list every week. If I can just accomplish two to five of those things off my list every week while tracking um, when I eat out and when I um, eat processed sugar, and if I do my cardio and weightlifting at least three times a week, then I should make some great progress towards my goal. All right. And so that's my plan. Week week four or step four was to make a plan to help accomplish your goal. And often oftentimes you just need to write a large list of things that will help you accomplish your goal and then just prioritize them. Right. So, yeah. So that's it. Those are the four steps. And that's honestly an honest goal that I am going to try to accomplish this year is to just get healthier, drop down to 185 pounds, you know, improve my core and overall strength and um, increase my target heart rate, right? That's an honest goal that I want to accomplish this year. So uh, wish me luck, you know, um, it'd be cool if I can make a video kind of updating all of you in about three months and at the end of the year to kind of see how well I've done or how well I've not done. And we can talk about that, about that as well. So, um, it, so that's it. It's pretty simple, right? Those four steps. And so feel free to watch the previous um, four videos because um, I kind of go into more depth about those individual steps there. And so let's see here. Let's see what car, what rare I got in my Commander Legend. So I got Uncommon and this is my rare Promise of Tomorrow. Cool card. It's a two white enchantment. Whenever a creature you control dies, exile it. And at the beginning of each end step, if you control no creatures, sacrifice this card and return all cards exiled with it to the battlefield under your control. Oh, interesting. So that's, a, that's cool. I like that it's three casting costs because most board wipes cost four or more. And so you can have this in play. Um, so before you get board wiped. And then kind of an uncommon in here. Alhura Solemn Ritualist, Aruma of the Dead Tide, and a Foil Iona's Judgment, and a Soldier Token. All right, not too bad. I'm just kind of putting my uncommons on top here. And so let's pick another pack here. And then we'll give away some cards. All right, Strixhaven. Oops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully that's in the screen. And we will go pack five. All right, so not a whole bunch of rares this week, but that's okay. That's all right, that's how it goes when you crack packs of magic cards. That's a cool card. Cool art there, cool creature. That is a Spectral Mage. Pretty cool. All right, we got a Forest. Expanded Anatomy, Letter of Acceptance, First Day of Class, Eager First Year, Spiteful Squad, Creative Outburst. That's my first uncommon. Spell Satchel, another uncommon. Storm Kiln Artist. That's third uncommon. And we've got ooh, a Wither Bloom Command. I love command cards, right? And it says choose to. Target player mills three cards. And it's a black green sorcery. You get to choose two of these, two of these modes here. So it's a target player mills three cards, saying you return a land from your graveyard to your hand. Destroy target non-land, non-creature, non-land permanent with mana value two or less. Target creature gets negative three, negative one at the end of turn. Target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. All right, not too bad. I mean, like the removal is not that great. This removal is not that great, but you might be able to hit something. That last mode, I don't really see you using that one. Um, the first one is probably the one that probably you're gonna get the most value out of if your deck is built around it. But I mean, at the same time, this command only costs two. So, you know. That's still a great price to pay. Ooh, and then we got a Weather the Storm. So it's just, you gain three life and it's a Storm card. That's cool. Did not expect to see Storm cards. Ooh, look at this Foil Opt. Dude, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. 
and just a random fun game you can play here. So, dude, Opt, I love Opt. I love playing blue, and that foil Opt looks beautiful. Look at that. All right, so, as a rule, I'm trying to collect all of these Jumpstart packs, so I am not going to give that card away. Um, but I can give away these three cards. Um, some of these cards here. So I'll give away, you know, I'll give away the Opt because that's just absolutely beautiful looking. Um, gosh, I don't know what else to give away. Maybe Promise of Tomorrow. And I don't really think Storm is that great of a ability right now in the current meta. I don't know much about the current meta, but I can't imagine Storm decks being popular in uh, standard at the moment. So, you know, I will give away these three cards, right? And so to win these three cards, Promise of Tomorrow, Wither Bloom, Command, and Opt, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. And um, I'll wait about a month, and if we can get five likes and five comments, then I will randomly pick someone who commented and give them these three cards, all right? So you have a month to enter. And remember, to enter, you just have to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below. All right, so remember, the year is halfway over, and you probably wished you were more productive. But don't worry, we're all in the same boat. Um, but on the brighter side, you know what it's not too late to salvage the rest of your year you still have six months to accomplish a goal that you've been wanting to accomplish so you still um uh, so i just want to let you know that i believe in you and i know you can do it right i'm gonna try hard to to lose some weight and to get healthier and whatever you want to try to accomplish in the remaining six months of this year i know you can do it all right i absolutely believe in you all right, so thanks for joining me in this journey, and hopefully we can achieve our goals in the second half of this year together. All right, so remember, I care about you, I want you to get better, and I want you to enjoy magic and life more. So make sure you like the video, subscribe, click on the bell to get notifications, and when you see one of my videos, click on the clock or add it to your watch later playlist. And uh, share this video with your friends and family. Comment down below on what other topics you would like me to cover. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.